Today we leave Tomsk and we loved it. I would definitely come back here and every so, year if I could. One of my favorite European cities that we've seen yet. Yes. It has I, everything, like the old school architecture, the history, the food, the people, the Christmas markets. I don't see what more you would want in a European city. I think we're seven weeks into Europe and this has been my favorite place so far. Boom, I'm with you. In today's video, we're gonna let you in on one of Europe's best kept secrets, the magical, beautiful, historical city of Donsk, Poland. Why Poland, you ask? Well, we don't know too much about Poland, except that it's cold and we've had a few pierogies in our lives. But the flights were cheap to get here and after a quick Google search, we fell in love with how beautiful the city is. It's historic, the architecture is insane, and the people are so nice. In this video, we're gonna give you the top five reasons why we fell in love with Poland, specifically the magical city of Donsk. This place, it's so beautiful. Everywhere yeah. you look, there's something new to look at. Everywhere you turn, like it's so, so well done. There's so many restaurants and all the food looks amazing. The people are super welcoming, like, yeah. wow. We cannot even put our Phone cameras down. down. We can't put our phones so down. We are just taking pictures and videos of everything we, we see. Haven't, we haven't talked to each other. We're just like filming everything. <laughs> it's so amazing. 90% of Old Town was destroyed in World War II by bombing. So the entire city had to be completely rebuilt. And when it was built the first time, it was under German rule. So all the buildings were kind of distinctive of that style. So to get away from that, they rebuilt it in a completely different way. They built it with more Swedish and French influence to kind of the style of buildings and stuff that you see today. So all of this is like relatively new. I also read that there was a massive Polish insurgents after the war to help rebuild the city. So hundreds of thousands of people migrated to this area to help rebuild it and it's like the fourth or fifth largest city in Poland currently. This might be one of the most beautiful cities I've ever seen. Yeah, I love it. Number two, affordability. So because Poland is so close to Scandinavia and Donsk is this beautiful Baltic city on the water, we thought the prices would be similar to Stockholm, but this is not the case. From accommodations to groceries, to eating out, to transportation, everything in Poland as a whole was very affordable. It really helped us stay on budget. Our Airbnb is a six minute walk from the Old Town area and our Airbnb only costs us 34 bucks a night. It's We're here five nights. It's got a pool and a hot tub. Crazy, it's good. That was 20... Zolski. No. <laughs> Swatsky. 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 Oh, it was 20 of them. I think that's four. It was 20 bucks. Polish money, and that's four dollars for four beers. So that's a win. Not too bad. We are in Donsk, and all of this for 11.50. Breakfast was fifteen dollars. Really? That's it? Yeah! I love Poland. Number three on the list, but number one in our hearts, food. One of our favorite parts about visiting a new city is experiencing their food. Not just their local food, but how well they interpret other cultures' foods. Of course Poland has amazing Polish food. If you saw our Christmas video, you know we ate a ton of pierogies and sausages. But something that really caught us off guard was the wide variety of food available in Dots. And it really is one of the top reasons we fell in love with this city right away. One of our favorite places was this Thai restaurant we went to on our second day. 
So we came in here just in time for lunch. We were walking by and we saw a sandwich board that had lunch specials out there. I decided to go with that. Mine comes with a Tom Yum soup. I get one curry and it comes with dessert and a lemonade. That broth is intensely flavorful. It's very tart. It's a little salty and it is very spicy for a Tom Yum. The mussels are really flavorful. Uh, there's chunks of the tomato. You get a lot of lemongrass. There's a little bit of mushrooms in there. Really good soup. This is Brandon's main dish with the lunch special. I'm so hot. This curry is like the gift that keeps on giving. There's green peppers in there, snow peas, onions, Thai basil. Every time I pick up my spoon, I get some sort of a new vegetable in there. And Alyssa decided to get every side that they had, so she got like some sort of tempura veg, a rice, and some sweet and sour cucumbers. Everything so far is amazing. The sweet potato fries, tempura on it is like fish and chips batter, so it's like thick. It's really good. The spicy mayo is obviously homemade as well. Everything is spicy, which is great. The fried rice has so many ingredients in it, it's amazing. Never did I ever think that eating Thai food in Poland would be like top of the list food experience, but here we are. I am loving this. Also, the plating is so cute. There's like leaves underneath each dish. Each dish is different. They're like mismatched cute dishes. I don't know. I'm loving the whole vibe here. Also, the chick is amazing who's serving us. The vibe in here is great. The music's great. We're looking at the water. I'm loving this. Loving this. Still going strong. I'm so full, but it's so good. This is fire, cost $26 for all of that. We got two lemonades, three sides, a soup, a curry, and a dessert. Absolute fire. Yeah, insane. If you're in dance, definitely hit this spot. Right next to the Black Pearl Pirate Ship. Amazing. Oh, also that's 26 with tip. It came out to 94 Swatsky, Swat, Swat, Swatly, Swaddle, 94 Polish dollars. And I added 15 for tip, so 119. Amazing and they had hot sauce. We are right outside of the Stockshaw Food Hall. This is a super cool spot to hit up if you like live music, DJs, things like that on the weekends. We are here on a Wednesday just to eat, uh, but if you're in Danska, this is one of the most popular food halls around. <laughs> Perfect. What'd you order? Cheese fries. <laughs> I went with the extra spicy. He said he could do extra spicy. Masala, yeah. Oh, and then I got this butter naan. If you can see this, the listening. He made it all to order. Uh, the dude was nice enough to make it like extra spicy for me. It's really good. The heat really comes through. It's a little acidic, but not too overbearing. Perfect with that naan bread. The rice is super fragrant. And for me, Indian food is beer food. Like Indian food just goes so well with a cold beer. Brennan's a complete idiot. This is lamb. He said it's chicken and I bit into it and was like, I don't know what the chicken is like here in Poland. <laughs> it's lamb. Ah, oh, that makes so much more sense. Great lamb, bad chicken. <laughs> Trying to go for cocktails. This bar is playing punk rock music. It's called Yuskata, so we're gonna stop for a beer before we get some cocktails. <laughs> Dude, this place is amazing. They're like jamming out to like Britpop music. There's like multiple levels that you can go to and two dollar beer. Out one door and in the other. So we have been dying to come here since we got to Danska. They're a craft cocktail bar known for their fairy tale drinks. This is one of the coolest menus I've ever seen. After an extensive look at the coolest menu ever, we have decided on two drinks to start with. I'm gonna get the Beauty and the Beast and Brandon's gonna get the Goldfish. 
So mine comes with two, the beauty and the beast. And he says that the beast is like dry and dark and harsh. And the beauty is like soft and light and tasty. And then Brandon got the goldfish. The fairy tale of the goldfish is that goldfish said to a woman, if you let me free, I'll let Brandon three wishes. He gets three wishes, which are the three shells. And the goldfish is edible, which is so cool. I don't know why this isn't a top 50 bar because this place is awesome. It's obviously a little kitschy, but like the cocktails are presented so well. I'm excited to taste them and hope that they live up to the hype of how they look. They also gave us these nice like children's crackers, which go well with the fairy tales. Um, but the Beast and the Beauty are the same ingredients, except for the Beauty is added with the uh, lemon and an egg white shake to make it all frothy. This is so good. This is like my favorite whiskey sour that I've ever had. I love this. I also love that it comes in this cute teacup. Like how can you say no to a whiskey sour in a teacup? Brennan's looks gross, but it's supposed to be like fish food on top. <laughs> it's just the gelatin for the fish. I don't think you're supposed to have a bright shining light when you drink it. <laughs> We're in the dark. I think you're supposed to be drinking it dark. Uh, the fish food is actually really, <laughs> really delightful. No idea Four what it fish is. at the bottom. You have to eat them now. It's Do like it. Steve O from Jackass. <laughs> It's not like jello or like a gummy bear or anything. It just kind of melts, well, which makes me, I don't like it. I, don't like, I like the drink, I don't like the fish. <laughs> still, just come here, it's great. Maybe skip the fish. Also, the service here is insane. The dude is like explaining every single cocktail to us and like what comes in it and like why it's made like that. So Brandon just ordered the pickled Bloody Mary. No ice, right? Yeah, no ice. It smells great, though. This is excellent. It's definitely 100% fresh ingredients. You get that. And he said that if you eat the celery, that you'll improve the experience. And I'm all about improving the experience. <laughs> Drinking it like that 100% improves the experience. <laughs> like, it is as advertised. The pickle is very lightly sweet. It's not overly spicy. There's a little horseradish, but not overpowering. It's full of umami. It's pretty damn good. <laughs> the other cocktails on the menu, some are served in like soup cans, others are served in birds, there's light bulbs, there's all sorts of cool things, and they all come with their own little story. They can also do any classic cocktail. There's beer, there's shots, there's Fernet. But all in all, this is a fantastic place to visit while you're here. Coming in at number four, free and unlimited sightseeing. I feel like every two seconds we're going, whoa, wow, and like pointing at things. Like this city is so, so cool. And everywhere you turn, it's like completely different. If you followed us for a while, you know we don't do a lot of research. So most of these places we just found by going out and walking. We just followed some signs that we couldn't pronounce, but we found our way into an exhibition about a famous Polish artist who's a logoist and he designs logos for all these different companies. He's done all these iconic Polish logos over the time. He even redesigned the laughing cow cheese cow, uh, but it was really cool. It was cool. They showed you like the process and then like a lot of the work that he's done. And it's in this like underground for, of a church. So it was like a really cool setting for something like that on Instagram and we just stumbled upon it and we got this cool sign. You can ride this Ferris wheel. It's 35 salty, which is about seven bucks. We're gonna pass on the Ferris wheel, but if you're in the area, this looks really fun and it's heated. Fahrenheit is actually named after the dude who invented the barometer of measuring the temperature in 1726 or something like that. And there's a monument to him in the center of Old Town Danska because he lived here for a little while. So 
so we're walking by and we stumbled upon this ship. It's called the Black Pearl. So we thought that there was some sort of historical significance. It turns out it's just a mock pirate ship that does dinner cruises. <laughs> Alyssa is at a coffee shop editing a video. I haven't had an opportunity to see St. Mary's Church yet. I think that it's free to enter and you can play, pay just a few dollars to walk all the way to the top. So I am headed there to do that tour. This place is fabulous. The ceiling of it is all white and there's like crisscrossing beams, all handmade. It's like a 15th century church. So it's just very ornate. It's one of my favorite churches that I've seen on this trip. One of the most astounding things about this church is this astronomical clock. Right as you walk in on your left-hand side, you can't miss it and it's absolutely excellent. It is only $3 to go to the top of the tower, however, it is cash only. And as we've been bragging, we haven't taken out any cash our entire trip so far. This is the first opportunity that it kind of bit us in the butt a little bit. So unfortunately, I wasn't able to go all the way to the top, but when you visit this church, you definitely should. There's an amazing view up there. Also, this is one of the world's largest brick churches, and it's absolutely magnificent. Must do when you visit. We just accidentally stumbled on the Christmas market. This place is a vibe. This might be one of my favorite cities that we've seen so far on this trip. It's absolutely insane. The people are cool, the food is great. And the Christmas market's bang, the history is there. It's beautiful. It's got everything. Finishing out our list of top five reasons we love Don's is their ease of transportation. First off, getting here. Our flight from Stockholm was $16 on Ryanair. Even now, while editing this video, I'm seeing flights from London, Paris, Prague, all for around $30 to $40. So getting to Don's is relatively inexpensive. And once you're here, their transportation is great. We used Bolt from the airport and it only cost us $7 for about a 40 minute ride. We also learned how to use the metro, the bus, and the train. We are trying to find our way to the beach. This is our first time using the public transit. We're having a little difficult time figuring whether we're on an overground or an underground. But there's these cool underground tunnels that shoot you off into the middle of the median where the trains pick you up. Now all we have to do is figure out how to get a ticket. There's no kiosk. And we went underground and overground. And there's like two subways and six buses. No one to buy tickets. So we're just gonna hope we can tap on. We made it to the first stop and we didn't have a ticket, but luckily we're fine. We're gonna buy a ticket for the second transfer and for the way back. All right, two 24 hour tickets, 36 slots each. So, what was that? Eight Six, bucks. Eight? Eight bucks. So far, the public transit has been amazing in Danska. We made it to the beach. These are sweet little beach houses here. It's just like PV. <laughs> My only wish is that it was snowing because I saw a picture of this place with snow on it and it looked so cool. water I've ever felt. Oh my god. Let me touch your face. <laughs> ah, get it off. Dansk is the amber capital of the world. The amber from the trees washes into the ocean and gets tumbled around and then sweeps onto the beach. 
and they collect it and there's like streets selling amber jewelry and amber furniture and amber lighting and everything all over the place. It's really cool. And Brandon got a bracelet. There's a piece of With amber real on amber there. from dusk. My hand is so cold. So the last time we strolled like this along a beachside was in Monterey when we tried the top clam chowders in that city. If you haven't seen that video, we'll leave a link right here for you guys to check that one out. So apparently this is the train station that we're going to buy our ticket to get to Warsaw. We looked up online. The credit card kept saying it's fraud. It's oh. called like innercity.pl dot something yeah. weird. So. It did seem kind of weird too. <laughs> so we're going to buy physical tickets. They also, we read that you can't purchase the tickets the day, the of. day of, which yeah. is kind of weird. So, but luckily there's no shortage of cool stuff to see here. So the walk to the train station has been amazing. The kiosk didn't want to drop us off at the right station, so Brandon got the balls to go up and talk to the ticket lady. She was very nice and very helpful, and she I kind of just showed her, and she knew exactly what I was talking about, where I was trying to go, and it ended up being cheaper than we were going to pay online. Yeah, 18 bucks to get from here to Warsaw. For both of us. Yeah. Sick! Three-hour train rides. So there you have it, our top reasons why we fell in love with Donsk, Poland. Let us know in the comments if you've been to Poland, or if this video made you want to visit. Wait, where are we? Dansk? Dansk? No. Dansk? Dansk. 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 Dansk.